Welcome to Fast Math Solutions on Math with EJD. We have a question to the looking so interesting. If P equals 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, show that P squared plus 4P, show that P squared equals 4P plus 5I rather, and then use this result to find P inverse. Okay. So, of course, you have to show that P squared is equal to 4P plus 5i. So, it means you can find P squared first. And to find P squared, that means P multiplied by P. And I've already told you a very smart way. I was taught by Mr. Ben Amorua to, you know, multiply matrices very easily without confusion. Uh, you know, so if you have three rows in the first matrix, so it means each column of the second matrix has to be written three times. And that is why you have 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2. Then the next column, 2, 1, 2, will be written three times. 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2. And the last column, 2, 2, 1, will be written three times also, like that, because there are three rows in the first uh, in the first matrix, okay? So now that you, if you, once you do, you write all the columns three times, then you, you go back to the first matrix and take the first row and invert it over the first row of, the, of these numbers you have written. Invert it three times like that. And the next thing, two one two, we go to the second row of the of this of the things you have inverted before. Then the last row, two two one, will go on the last row here. So once you have done that, all you just need to do is to multiply things out and add up, and then you keep going. Okay. So with this, now you have one times one one, two times two two, two times two two. That's four plus four plus one. That's nine. Then 2 times 1, 2 times 1, 2 times 2, 4, 2, 2. That's 8. Then this one is also 8. Then here, this is 8. That's 2, 2, 4, 8. Then 2, 1, 4. I mean, 4, 1, 4. That's 9. You know, and then this is 2, 2, 2, 8. Here you have 2, 4, 2. That is 8. Here you have 2, 2, 2. Sorry, 4, 2, 2. That is 8. And here you have 4, 4, 1. That is 9. So it means that P squared is equal to 988-898-889, like you have here. Okay, so we have got P squared. Don't forget our goal is to show that P squared is equal to 4P plus 5, 1. So since you have found P squared, let's find 4P plus 5I. 4P plus 5I. So 4P plus 5I simply means 4 times the matrix P and 5 times the unit matrix corresponding to the same, uh, in, in the same order. So matrix P is a 3 by 3 matrix. So the unit matrix will be the 3 by 3 unit matrix. So of course, 4 times all this, we just give you 4 times 1, 4, 4 times 2, 8, 4 times 2, 8, 4 times 2, 8, 4 times 1, 4, 4 times 2, 8, then 4 times 2, 8, 4 times 2, 8, 4 times 1, 4, like that. And of course, for 5i, so you just have 5 times each element. That's 5 times 1, 1 5, 5 times 0, 0, 5 times 0, 0, 5 times 0, 0, 5 times 1, 5, 5 times 0, 0, 5 times 0, 0, 5 times 0, 0, and 5 times 1, 5. So since you, it's a 4p plus 5i, you need just add things up. So 4 plus 5 is 9. Interestingly, all the 4s are on the main diagonal and all the fives are on the main diagonal so it means and so it means you have nine 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 on the main diagonal and eight everywhere else so with that now you have four p plus five i don't forget p squared is nine eight 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 nine eight 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 nine now uh four p plus five i is the same thing so we can say that yeah it is true therefore that p squared is equal to four p plus five i that's settled so the next thing is we want to use this result to get the p inverse to get the inverse of the matrix p so um if you check one of my videos uh, i did a video on uh, how to find inverse using kelly hamilton's theorem so there you discover that to find p inverse from this kind of place you, you multiply this result through by p inverse so and this is what you get so p inverse times p squared that's p because p inverse times sorry uh p inverse times p squared, if you even follow indices, that's p raised power minus one plus two. That is p raised power one, which is simply p. Then p inverse times p cancels out. So you have four i because that becomes like unit matrix. Then five units, five unit matrix times p inverse. That will be five p inverse. So don't forget, we are looking for p inverse here. And uh, from this expression, you can make 
P the subject of formula from this expression. So you can make P inverse, rather, the subject of formula. So the next thing is to carry 4i to the other side. So you have P minus 4i equals 5P inverse. But we are looking for P inverse, so you have to divide both sides by 5. So that means P inverse alone is 1 over 5 into P minus 4i. Okay? So without having tidied that up, you just put P and I. So it, P inverse now is 1 over 5 into... P, this is 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, the original matrix, minus 4i. This is i in the uh, a 3 by uh, the square matrix, uh, unit, the square unit matrix uh, in 3 by 3 is this. So what do you do? Just multiply, just um, add things up. So you have this normal and 4 goes in. So it, it just multiplies all the ones. 4 times all the zeros will be 0. So then you just subtract corresponding terms. So you have P inverse to be equal to 1 over 5 into 1 minus 4 minus 3, 2 minus 0, 2, 2 minus 0, 2, 2 minus 0 here is also 2, 1 minus 4 minus 3, uh, of course, uh, there's a missing 0 here, uh, 2 minus 0 is also, is this 2 now, 2, this 2, 2 minus 0 is 2, 2 minus 0, 2, 2, Okay, I'm just trying to change the markers. So 2 minus 0 is 2. 2 minus 0 is 2. 1 minus 4 is minus 3. So once you do that, you can say that P, P inverse is this. So that is just your P inverse. There's 2 here. So that's P inverse. So you see that you can easily find your inverse that way. Thank you so much for listening to this short video. Uh, if you want a fuller, uh, if you want a, a full explanation of the Kelly Hamilton's theorem, you can refer to my uh, matrices playlist and um, that, that will give you all the details you need. See you in the next video.